All right. So, some benefits of being on TV. Some benefits of being on TV. Some of you may know that I've been I've been doing this TV thing for a little while now, but it's been more than a decade. It's been yeah, way more than a decade that I had wanted to be on TV. But back then, it was it was really the only way because we didn't have social media like we have now where you know there's video opportunities on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. These platforms were not around when I wanted to be on TV. And the cost, the barrier to being on TV was so high, so high. And I remember the old days when I used to send pitch after pitch after pitch hoping to get on somebody's show. It was just so brutal. Fast forward to today, now we have social media platforms, and thank God we do. Here I am using it right now, for example. However, the existence of social media platforms has, in my opinion, elevated television just a little bit more. So television has gone through many iterations, many changes over the years, and social media with the video option has forced incredible changes on the TV industry and I'm sure more will follow and they've all been a good thing one of the things that uh, the social media with the easy access to using video to share to multiple people has done is it has forced TV to really rethink the access part of it and so I saw a gap in the door uh, about five years ago and I shoved my foot in and I braced it open, got my TV producer credentials, and, and since then a lot has still changed even more. So some of you may know I control three channels all that have to do with what I, you know, my control of them. Three channels on television, both on Roku and Amazon Fire TV, and now we're also moving over to Vida TV, which has a strong presence, uh, not so much in the United States, but in 168 countries of the world. So we're expanding on that. But what I found is that the social media opportunity not only made changes to the television industry, in a way it elevated it. Why am I saying that? Anything that is easy, free, or cheap doesn't mean it doesn't have use, but it definitely creates a separation between that and the thing that is not easy or free or cheap. And so it the social media has brought changes to television, but in a way, because it's easy, anybody can be on, on video now, on social media, anybody, including garbage. There's, there's, no, there's really no filters anymore. Anybody can be there. It has made being on television, in my humble opinion, a little bit more valuable. So, one of the benefits to being on TV is the perceived value of, wow, she's there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit, there's a, little, there's a little bit of ego coming into that. Yes, I'm going to admit it. I do feel, because when I tell people that I'm on TV, in fact, I had one person who just met me said, have I, are you on TV? And at that time, she had not known me at all. Now, I'm pretty sure that I wasn't on whatever TV she had probably seen, but she said to me, are you on TV? And I was able to actually say, yes, I am. You probably have seen me on TV. Or when people say, where do I know you from? I feel like I've met you before. I'm like, have you, maybe on TV, I'm on TV. So I'm going to admit, guys, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of that. I'm going to give you that. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. And hey, you can have that too, I'm just saying. But there's, so there's that. The other thing is a perceived value, the perceived value. Because it is not free, easy, or cheap, when you tell somebody you're on TV, they're like, wow, they think you have something very important to, to say that somebody wants to share your stuff, or they think you're a baller because the, it's still perceived that it is hard and expensive to be on TV. Now, shh, it's not anymore. But let them keep thinking that because when you appear on TV, I'm still benefiting from, um, from people thinking that. But at the same time, them thinking that is also causing people to not realize the opportunity is there for them for, for the taking. So even though it is not as hard as it used to be, it's still not free, easy, or cheap. Um, 
well, kind of maybe I'm making it a little bit cheap. And uh, I can tell you, there if you check the competition around, uh, I probably should be pricing my stuff higher. However, I feel uh, maybe it's, I just feel a compulsion to, and now I do have packages, and I do have a $10,000 a year package, so don't get me wrong, but I do have an entry level, what I call grow, get started, grow later package, that makes it absolutely easy for anybody who's really serious, that you can be there. So shh, let them keep thinking it's hard and it's expensive, that's good, that's fine. But for you, if you're interested, I'm gonna tell you it's not that hard and it's really not that expensive. I've made sure of it, okay? So, but the perceived value is still there. The next benefit is uh, I had someone travel from wherever she was. She was watching me on my channel and she felt that she trusts, she would trust me and she left where she was and traveled a distance to come and sit with me for a consultation about some financial issues because that's really what I went to TV for in the first place. I wanted to bring my Christian finance message to uh, to the masses because there's so much misconception around you know faith and money and all this garbage that's out there so anyway long and short of it is she saw me on TV and that is the next benefit the, the elevation of authority and perceived trust there's a reason why as seen on TV is a big brand because as seen on TV does uh, put some authority and trust out into the market for you. And we're not talking about ads now. Listen, ads, I'm not talking about those 15 seconds, 60 second annoying ads on TV. Those are heavily salesy and everybody knows what that's all about. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about shows, you know, content. Ed, we now call it edutainment because it is not edu um, regular entertainment like everybody goes to TV for. We're doing this pattern interrupt, guys, where we're interrupting their clickety click, click, click on their laughs and their dramas, and we're pushing edutainment in front of them. It's not an infomercial. It's not an ad. It's it's. It's your stuff on TV. It's just it's it's a different it's a different packaging. So we're interrupting that scroll, and you know the the masses who are just watching other people live their lives, and that's they're just their biological clock is tick tock tick tock going away, and they're just consuming you know time wasting content, and then we pattern interrupt with stuff like this. So for example, guys, there are channels on television now for Bitcoin for coaching for fitness for nutrition not just entertainment anymore if you can law if you can name it it is now and it's not they're not all there so there's still room for you to be one of the first in your niche to be there or at least to dominate your space and create a blue ocean strategy for your offer because right now on social media it's getting super crowded and there is just so much of your type of content there but not on TV so we have um, the the little bit of ego the perceived elevation of it being different and uh, more valuable than the social media video, video experience the authority position um, I have another uh, guest that was on my show and he has a video you can have the video I, if you don't want to take my word for it just go on my channel and see that he had been on my show and he gave me a testimonial that he had made over three hundred thousand dollars simply by utilizing the show the interview we did because we I extracted from him in that interview what his audience wanted to know but probably didn't think to ask and so he was able to utilize that show as a serious filtering and uh, sales piece that went ahead of him and made his sales process so much easier um, and of course he wasn't saying this was a YouTube video this was he was on TV so that's what happened there for him so then there is also the fact that TV is still being watched by millions and millions and millions of people at Christmas especially it's one of the top selling pieces of electronics it is without doubt and in fact it is an ego trip for people to have the bigger and bigger and bigger televisions on their walls it is not going away now I'm sure the industry will change over time and maybe the technology will change over time but for right now 
video in itself is still the number one way that even if you're watching, even if you're on Facebook right now, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, whatever, YouTube, video is still the number one preferred way for people to consume content. And TV has always been in the video delivery space. So that's just a few tips for you guys. I'm just, it is, if you've ever written a book, you know what it feels like to be seen as doing something amazing that the average person does not do. That's what TV also does. It gives the wow factor for you have done something amazing that the other average person has not and will not do, which is truly a game changer for so many of us. So just a few tips. There's so many, so many other benefits to being on TV. Uh, so, hey, if, if that's something that you've ever thought of, but like, oh, uh, probably, you know, you, you probably just talk yourself out of it because you just assumed assumed it was expensive and it was hard you need to come talk to me so thank you for spending a few moments with me today i do appreciate it your time is absolutely valuable i hope you got some value out of this as well uh connect with me and ask any questions